and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. I am in Shanghai, my favorite city in the world, and today we are making a video about Shanghainese food, Shanghainese snacks, all things Shanghainese cuisine. I am here on the beautiful Yunnan Nanlu, which is full of really traditional Shanghai restaurants, and some of them have been here for a really long time. A lot of history on this street, a lot of signs here saying, like behind me there's one saying 1932, a lot of history on this street. Today I am joined by the one, the only, the suave Swede himself, Magnus Detmar. How are Hello. you? Super good guys, how are you? I'm super excited to try some Chinese food today. It's gonna be a real adventure today because some of these things I've never tried before either, so I'm really excited for today. And I know what you're thinking. Shanghai snack video, of course we're gonna be seeing some xiao long bao today. Well, expect the unexpected because today there will be no xiao long bao on the menu. I've talked about xiao long bao so many times in past videos. So if you don't know by now that Shanghai is famous for xiao long bao and that they're super, super delicious, well, you need to watch more of my videos. Stop number one is behind us here which is actually a shop not specializing in xiao long bao. We're not having xiao long bao today because okay. everyone knows about xiao long bao, everyone knows the Shanghainese. Today we're gonna to be eating the xiao long bao's chubby cousin, the shang jian bao. <laughs> I love the chubby cousin. <laughs> yeah, well it is. I call it the chubby cousin because xiao long bao and shang jian bao do share similarities. Most notably, both are filled with soup and most commonly a juicy pork filling. Have you had one of these before? I don't think so, no. Oh my goodness, your, your mind is about to be blown. So this is a sheng dian bao. It literally translates to raw fried buns. So the raw part of sheng dian bao means that you fry the sheng dian bao without steaming it first. So that's where, where that comes into it. So it results in a very texturally exciting dumpling where the bottom is going to be really crispy and then the top is kind of soft. And when you have it with a little bit of vinegar, it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm so excited to see you eat this for the first time. Bon appetit. Oh nice my one. goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that crispy bottom. I love it. This is amazing. Fry and dumpling. And this meat, what meat is it? It's pork. Pork. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like watching a kid try french fries for the first time. <laughs> you can eat it for breakfast, right? Of course. You can yeah, eat it yeah. any time of the day. Yeah. <laughs> and especially after you go out. This would yeah. be the perfect like, yeah, late night snack. Isn't this a lovely evening? It's amazing. It's Walking a, around in the Shanghai night. Mm, mm, mm. Literally my favorite thing to do. When it's summer and it's got that breeze coming through and it's such a walkable city. I think that's what I love about Shanghai is like you can walk for hours, always be entertained. It's Absolutely. always beautiful. Yeah, you just um, throw out your camera and you will always find fun stuff. I almost have to not bring my camera with me when I walk around Shanghai. Otherwise, I don't do any walking. Every five meters, I'm just like stopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Photo, 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 yeah, photo. So this is our next stop behind us here. It's got a line. And it's famous for something called Pai Gu Nian Gao, which means pork rib uh, rice cakes. Pork rib rice cakes. And I've never tried it, okay. but I've had a lot of my Shanghai friends that have told me that it's really delicious and it's really, really famous. Let's go in and see if we can find a table. <laughs> we want to order here. Pretty cheap, 15 RMB. Cheaper than I was expecting. So we just need to find a seat. There's not one. Maybe upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I hope they can find us. Oh, they come to our table? I don't know, actually. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Woo. Okay, Here is our Pai Gun Yan Gao. If I'm being honest, it doesn't look the most attractive thing ever. So on top we have the Pai Gu, which is ribs. Inside there are bones, so you have to be careful. Okay. And then underneath we have the Nian Gao, which is like made from rice. So it's got this amazing glutinous texture that I really, really love. I love Nian Gao. Here you go, there's half for you, okay. and then half for me over here. <laughs> Let's try the Nian Gao first. Mm. It looks like a ton. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What do you think of the rice cake? I don't know what to say. It's, yeah, it's a rice cake. <laughs> it's just a rice cake. Very big. Rib o'clock? Oh, yeah. It's really oh. good. That's nice. I'm going to try one bite after the other. Oh, you do both. 
Um, I feel like that's how it's meant to be. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts on our ribs this and tongue? Amazing, yeah, the tongue, the rice tongue was a lot of fun. Yeah. That one was super duper good. This is where the money is at, right? Yeah, now. exactly. It. it was crispy, it was like, yeah, I don't know, very tender in the middle. It was really, really good. Yeah, that is really, really delicious. So the next thing I want to show you on our little food adventure is something that I prepared earlier. I've got it in my bag here. Okay. It's fresh, I promise. I bought it like an hour ago. Oh, okay. So this shop is closing soon, so I wanted to come so I could get something for Magnus before I meet up with him. So this is a Tong Yo Bing. It's one of my favorite things ever. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show this to him. Oh my god, what is this? Pancakes? Oh my goodness, have you had this before? No. It's what called a Tong Yo Bing. Tong Yo Bing, which means scallion oil bread, scallion oil cake. Thing. Oy, oy, oy. Your breakfast will never be the same once you know about this. Your life will be a bright <laughs> spark of joy. Amazing. I would write a poem to this Tong Yo Bing. Yeah? Tong Yo Bing, what a thing. I love this so much. Yeah, great poem. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Can you smell that? Look at that. So inside you have lots of scallions. And it's just, it smells amazing. It's like, this is, it reminds me of like a French pastry. When I eat this, I could be in France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It just gives me that vibe. And okay. it should be crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really am obsessed with this. I really hope you enjoy it. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Mmm, <laughs> there we go. Do you like that? Really good. Really like, uh, it's almost like a um, croissant, no? Yeah, exactly. It is like a croissant. It gives me that vibe, except salty in the middle that Tong Yo flavor profile. And actually speaking of Tong Yo being, there's also something called Tong Yo Ban Mian, which is also a Shanghai specialty. And I actually ate it earlier that day with my friend Peter. Oh, there it is, Tong Yo Ban Mian. Right. What's this, Kai Yang? Kai Yang, um, Kai Yang means um, dried shrimp. Oh. And then this is only something that you will only some words that you will use in Shanghai. If okay. you say Kai Yang to people from other parts of China, nobody will understand it. So Amy, do you want your noodle to be a little bit harder or softer? You have that option here? Of course. So here when ordering, you can specify if you want your noodles hard, normal, or soft. Is that just a Shanghai thing? I'm pretty sure anywhere in China they are going to be happy to accommodate their special need. So here we have Tong Yo. So this here is our kai yang. Yeah, that's kai yang. That's dried shrimp. Dried shrimp there. It's just like kind of a simple noodle. Is that seaweed? Nope. What's it? Fried scallion. It smells really, really good. Like very salty, soy saucy. Yeah. Yeah, that aroma from the scallions as well. It looks, it looks and smells amazing. And now that I've seen it, I'm pretty sure I have had this before when I was living in Shanghai as a student because these were very cheap on the yeah, <laughs> near my dormitory. 13 yuan. 13 renminbi. And one quick note is that you don't want to have your ban mian sitting here for too long. Okay. Or it's going to stick together and becomes really hard to mix. Yeah. Not as tasty. As it would be. It was only sitting here for like one minute and already it started to stick together a little bit. Yeah, so one quick note on every noodle dish that you will see in China. Like, eat it as soon as you see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can probably do, do it like when you're eating pasta. That's gonna be less messy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nice, huh? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I've taken way too much, haven't I? Okay. <laughs> that is just like a carb lollipop if I've ever seen one. <laughs> That's a carb overload. <laughs> so this is kind of one of those dishes that there's absolutely nothing challenging about it. I doubt there is anyone that would try this dish and be like, I don't like it. Because it's it's just noodle with amazing sauce on it. It's just yum. It's absolutely delicious. This kind of noodle is actually coming from, you know, the Hojiangnan region. In Suzhou, they will have like a very seasonal dish, san xia mian, three shrimp noodle. So of course, after hearing this, I simply had to travel to Suzhou to experience this iconic dish for myself. But that's a story for another day. Next up, Peter took me to try another very famous Shanghai noodle dish. 
see a Femin. The second one over there yep. will be a really good one. Goodness, some expensive noodles here. One bowl of these noodles is 70 renminbi. What do they put in it? You will see. Noodles with the sauce of crab roll oh and crab meats with some little bit of scallion right over here. Oh my god. Yeah, goodness. this that looks, looks just... amazing. So, yeah, that's why it costs 70. Wow, look at that. This is just gonna be so delicious. Looking at it, I can now understand why it is 70 renminbi because that is just, that looks so flavorful. There's a lot of crab mixed around in that. And there's also a lot of like crab roe as well. Mm -hmm. It smells really nice and crabby. It smells <laughs> crabby. Of course it does. That's a really accurate description. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <gasps> Open. So flavorful. It's the crabbiness. Mm. Super crabby, but not in like an overly mm -hmm. fishy way. It's got these little bits of crab all through the dish. It feels really good in my mouth. It kind of reminds me of an Italian pasta almost. Like it's got that kind of pasta feel to it. If you're in Shanghai, you should definitely try this. Now, I'm going to take you to our next location, okay. which is over there. So we are now on Zhejiang Road. It's just kind of opposite on the other side of the road from uh, Yunnan Nanlu. And yeah, this looks like a really cool Xinjiang restaurant here. I've never been here. Good, huh? No, these are delicioso. It wasn't on my original itinerary since this is not Shanghai food. You get one more? Yeah. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> So this is our last stop for today. Okay. Can you guess where it is? I have no idea. What does that sign over there say? Oh, stinky tofu. <laughs> Why did you bring me here? I guess I have to, uh, yeah, I have to head home pretty soon now. So I'll see you later. Bye -bye. Oh no, stay with me. <laughs> no, this stuff is good. It doesn't taste like it smells, trust me. Okay. Have you tried it before? Never tried it. Okay, well. I try to avoid it. Yeah. But uh, if you're forcing me, okay. Yeah. yeah. There, there, there is going to be forcing. When in um, Rome. When in Rome, you got to try it. It's something that you got to try. And trust me, it's not, it doesn't taste like it smells. It's not my, as bad as it looks. My dad, my dad, yeah. who would be very scared of this, he tried it and he loved it. Oh, now I can smell it. He ordered a second it. portion. <laughs> now I can smell it. Oh my God, we're like 10 meters away. And, mm. Yeah. Look, it's only natural to feel this way because you've been smelling it for the last four years yeah. and it doesn't exactly smell very pleasant, so... But why does it smell? The fermenting. It's okay. fermented tofu. But I heard it's only old people eating. No, look at this restaurant. It's all young people here. Now, it is 10 renminbi. Shanghai style style tofu is fried, which for me is like a nicer way of having it because it's a little bit crispy on the outside. Okay. Yeah. I, would I think love you'll crispy. like it. Would love crispy. Were you afraid to bring me to these places? No, you not. Think it would react in a different way. To be honest, I don't care. I get to eat it, so I know I'll be happy if you like it or not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Here we are. This is our tofu, Shanghai style. It's fried. It's fragrant. It's got a sauce on it. Let me just like have a little taste of that sauce. It's a little bit sweet. Okay. A little bit okay, sweet. Like if you smell that close up, it's not that bad. Like honestly, okay. it's not that bad. It's deep fried. Just think of it as a nugget from McDonald's. Okay. McDonald's nugget. <laughs> it's just a McDonald's nugget. See? It's salty. Absolutely no bad taste, right? It's way better than I thought. See, don't be scared of stinky tofu. I was scared of stinky tofu for so many years before I actually tried it myself and I realized this stuff's good. There's a reason people line up for this. And again, all of this food, this was 10 renminbi. So all together tonight, we paid how many for the, uh, 15 for the salmon bar, 15 for the ribs, 10 for this. 
that's still less than one drink at the expat bar. <laughs> you think about that next time you go to the expat bar. This is fun. I mean, this is what I love about Shanghai. You can try either the fancy stuff or the local like street food stuff. Speaking of fancy stuff, it was time to experience the city Magna style. So ladies and gentlemen, we are entering the best view of Pudong in all of Shanghai. This is the edition rooftop. <laughs> hilarious because I've shown you my world tonight and now you're showing me yours. This is absolutely amazing. This view is incredible and that light show. <laughs> this is the rooftop of the skies. Oh my god. This will be the end of our food adventure today. This has been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank, thank you for, for keeping an open mind. Did you have fun? So much fun and it was so much delicious food tonight. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had a really good time myself and this view is so amazing. So I'm going to let this sink in and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.